Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and we have some normal gameplay today, hoping that we will stop suffering with this amazing aircraft. Uh, we are flying out the Kafir C7 at this first match, we were trying to do some bombing, because to be honest, if you don't know actually, this aircraft was designed as a fighter, but eventually it got changed to a cast kind of role or bomber, whatever. Uh, due to the lack in performance compared to the other uh, fourth generation aircraft that they were buying, right? The F-16, the F-15. So even though yes, it's technically a fighter, it was used for a very short time as a fighter. And then it was basically changed for a more air-to-ground role. And even then, the F-16 did that, I think, even better, right? Uh, because you know, guys, what the Kafir is. It's a Mirage 3, right? It doesn't change too much on that. The main thing is obviously the J79 helping you out, but still it's just a Mirage. So you lose a lot of energy turning, even though uh, you have a lot of power as well. So you can kind of keep it up a little bit more with these more advanced third generations and fourth generation aircraft. But still you are lacking a lot, but especially in the weapons department, which is the suffering ending that I want uh, with the next patch. Uh, if you don't know the, as well, the patch will probably come very very soon like around this week i would say of course i have no right to say anything about it because i thought it was going to be last week but then we got another dev server which was kind of funny that we did have that it's been a while since we had two ones like two dev servers uh so i was really really not expecting a dev server so yeah uh, i guess that the patch is really really close expect the announcements very very soon i think uh, but yeah, just to make sure we have a little bit of kind of a, a raging fun, you know, or just a fun that it's not really fun because you are kind of mad because we're fighting fourth generation aircraft with A9Gs. Uh, but still, it is quite amusing to actually fly this aircraft. It is uh, one of those that it, it's like a MiG-21Bs, I would say, uh, but without the weapons uh, because... It is a very early design third generation aircraft, a jet aircraft, but then it has an amazing engine, uh, the G79 and F4 engine, uh, and it has even more power than the normal G79s. And then, I don't know, with that and the canards, it kind of becomes a, a super third generation, right? It's still lacking a lot in many areas. Uh, the lack of radar, the lack of BVR, the lack of um, a proper, you know, missile. That is going to be the main thing about the patch for this aircraft, oh, right? Uh, the Python 3 being added. And the cannons are problematic as well. So every single thing about this aircraft is kind of uh, problematic. But still, it is a very, very fun aircraft to fly. And I cannot wait to actually have the Python 3s. Uh, as you see, we are fighting a lot of third generations. I think uh, we have kind of a, a tendency to have low 12.0s like matchmakings you know we ha we will have 12 notes but it's like a it's less than if you were playing a 11.7 or 12.0 so you can kind of deal with these targets but even then man you will notice that you are losing a lot of you know performance and just overall fighting ability against even a mig 23 right it is an aircraft that doesn't like to be you know engaging these targets very much um, I say that while I'm just with the air brakes open for a very, very long time, which is a uh, problematic thing, right? And I was like, oh my god, why aren't I, like, getting speed in the aircraft? And I just had the air brake open for a very long time. I was so focused on the aircraft that I was trying to kill that I did not notice that I, I had the air brakes on for, like, I don't know how much time, man. It really is. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's just opened. Oh my god, I feel embarrassed that I actually have this uh, gameplay on it. And then I just completely ignored that F-14 behind me. Oh my god. So yeah, the aircraft doesn't help, but the piloting skill on that gameplay there was quite problematic. Another thing that I don't like about this aircraft is that it really likes to break its wings, man. Oh my god, if you I have four missiles on it and you pull the max Gs, you will break your wings. It is... Oh my god. It's the most annoying thing ever. And you go, go back to Ranger. And you have to like wait 5 minutes to actually join another match. And you know how it is, right? 
And here we have one of the only kills that I got with the A9G, right? It is just such a bad missile for fighting uh, high tiers. Um, of course, it is fairly okay against these third, late third generation aircraft, but if you need to fire one of these missiles against more advanced aircraft, it just doesn't do well, right? Uh, that basically has no IRCCM, doesn't turn very well, and low accelerating. Uh, so... I am very, very happy, even though it's a nation, I, mu I must be honest, right? It's not a nation that I particularly fly too much, uh, but that, that, that was the main thing, right? Uh, it was a nation that didn't have anything going for it. Uh, it has a weird Mirage tree that loses a lot of energy and doesn't have properly good missiles. Then it has an F4E that... It was alright, but it's still an F4E, right, with a pushed operator, but, I mean, come on, it's just a F4E. And then we had the F-16 Nets, which is just a normal F-16 Block 10, so not very exciting, to be honest. But with the Python 3, that completely changes everything. And I think a lot of people will start to enjoy flying this Israeli nation right now. Uh, with more of, of a unique aspect of it, having their own missiles. Of course, the Chinese will use the PL-8, which is a Python 3 as well, but at least it will make it so that it has a different flavor to it, right? It is going to be a nation that has these different French-slash-American aircraft uh, with their own missiles. So, very, very cool, right? Uh, very, very cool. And the most, uh, uh, like, engaging thing that I wanted to... I, I feel like it's coming is that these type of new missiles really, really bring another level of, you know, just going to the future. You know, it's it's kind of just an idea that slowly but surely we are going to get the R-73s and A9Ms of the world, uh, that we are going to get for plus generation. Uh, the Gripen is already confirmed. So, exciting times to be playing this game, even though, yes, economy, I know, I know, I know. Uh, let's wait and see until the 14th to see how things will go. But if everything work, works out with that, uh, we can be excited about this game because it is improving um, each patch that it's released. And I'm quite excited about the Python 3 itself, for especially the Kafir, man. Because the other two, I mean, they already had A9Ls, which are very good missiles already. But for the Kafir, man, the Kafir, oh my god, it suffered so much. So finally, finally, the suffering is ending with this aircraft. Hopefully, I mean, it will still maintain its BR. So, yeah, very, very good decision, I think, for this BR to be remained with a missile such as that. Hopefully, the patch comes along fairly soon. And yeah, guys, I see you guys on the next one. And let's just enjoy this last kill. Because I had on kill with a Defa Cannon against, I think it's a Mark 12, or I don't know the name of the gun. It's always exciting. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. And I see you guys on the next one. Bye.